Hey guys, it's Thursday, January 7th, and yesterday was the biggest sales day I've ever had on eBay. I sold 13 items for a little over $2,400, and a big portion of that was some video games that you guys saw me buy about a week or two ago. So I got a lot of packing to do. Let's get to work. Okay, first thing is right here. This is something I went ahead and pulled from my storage unit. This is a Jeff Gordon t-shirt I got from the Piqua resellers, I guess about a month or two ago. Got right around $10 into it. That sold for $39.99 plus shipping. That shirt's going out to viewer named David. He says, I've been a long time viewer. Thank you for all your videos. They're entertaining and fun. I look forward to your videos all the time. Hope you do good in 2021 and happy new year to you and your family. David, thank you for the kind words. Hope 2021 is great for you too. Okay, next thing going out is a beer tap handle in C42. Right here, it's this Sam Adams one. It's a really cool look to it. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a video game, Super Mario All-Stars for Super Nintendo. It's an E41. I think I sold the other game in here too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull both of these. I might even sold a third one. Let's just pull all this stuff. I think it all sold. Okay, um, Super Mario All-Stars. Let's see, this sold for $22.99 free shipping. And Super Mario World sold for $19.99 free shipping. And I thought I sold this Game Boy game right here, but I guess I didn't. So I'll put that back. All right, I sold a couple of hats, both in C42. Right here. These are some hats that I got in that big lot of NASCAR stuff from that online auction. This is a Princeton Dragway, uh, new with the tag. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And this is a 1987 Daytona 500 Winston Cup hat. That sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Next is in C32. It is a video game, NCAA Football 12 for PS3. That sold for $11.99 free shipping. The buyer didn't leave a note, but I know it's a viewer based on the username. So Dustin, thank you for the purchase. Hope you like the game. Okay, next thing is back here on F1. This is a He-Man Masters of the Universe. I think it's called like Skeletor Mountain or something like that. This is in a big lot of toys that I got from the Piqua resellers. That's uh, I did an auction on this because it was not complete, so I wasn't sure what it would really go for. Started at a dollar and sold for twenty fifty five plus shipping. Okay, now we're on to the big boys. Let's see. First game we're pulling is volleyball, complete in box, in excellent condition. Decided to do an auction on this one and the other ones I'm about to pull too because couldn't really find good comparable prices. So decided to do an auction. I started every one of them at a dollar. This one sold for $760.87 plus shipping. Next one is Super Mario Brothers. Also in excellent condition. Um, I'm guessing these sold so high because people are going to get them graded. And then hopefully, you know, they'll be worth a lot more after they're graded, depending on what the grade is. This one is really interesting to me because the game by itself is worth about $10. Like you can buy this game on eBay right now for about like $10 shipped. But complete with the box and everything, this one sold for $710 plus shipping. Next one is Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Uh, this one sold for $102.50 plus shipping. Three more of these sold too. I, they just haven't paid yet. They told me they're going to pay probably today or tomorrow, which is fine with me. But I'll go ahead and show you guys what they sold for. Let's see. Baseball, that sold for $305 plus shipping. Metal Gear, that sold for $169.50 plus shipping. And Ninja Turtles back here sold for $175.37 plus shipping. I bought all these games for my friend Shirley, and at the time, I really wasn't sure what some of these were worth. I think I thought the Mario was going to sell for around 100, 150, and a lot of the other ones I kind of valued around like 50 to 75. I just had no idea. So with the numbers I had in mind, I offered her 300 for everything, and she was happy with that. But as soon as that Mario Brothers game started to take off, I messaged her and I said, I think these are worth a lot more than I originally thought, so I'm definitely going to be sending you some more money. I messaged her this morning saying I'd love to give you an extra 500 dollars for all this stuff so hopefully she accepts now every time i sell something that sells for more than i expect do i go back and hunt down the person i bought it from and give them more money no of course not but this is a special circumstance shirley's a friend of mine and i really want to do right by her you guys are probably wondering how i'm going to pack these video games so i'm going to show you i had at least two of the buyers say don't use too much tape so i think i've got a solution 
that is going to keep these safe without making them too difficult to unpack. I'm assuming they said that because when they're unpacking the bubble wrap, they don't want to like take a knife to it and maybe damage the box. So first thing I'm going to do is put it in a poly bag, get some bubble wrap. And I'm gonna use painter's tape. It won't stick that well to the bubble wrap, but if I wrap it all the way around and stick it to itself, I think it'll do fine. And then the buyer can just peel it right off and it, you know, shouldn't cause any kind of issues. Not too bad, huh? Okay, now we're gonna double box this thing. I'll start with an eight by six by four. And then I'm gonna put this box in a 10 by eight by six. I just wanna give this thing the best chance of making it there safely. Condition is everything with these games, so just a little bit of damage could hurt the value by a few hundred dollars. All right, it is good to go. And since it's sold for so much, I will definitely be buying additional insurance through eBay. Okay, just a few more things to ship. Next is an A41. It is a genuine Sony battery pack for a Handycam. That sold for $24.99, free shipping. Okay, next is a pair of shoes up here on E1. These are some Nikes that I got from my guy Mike. Box was a little bit banged up, unfortunately, but the shoes were in really good condition. Those sold for $49.99 plus shipping, and they're going to the viewer David. So didn't realize that till just now. So I'll definitely combine both in the same box and refund you the difference in the shipping. Thank you, David. Okay, next is a pair of salt shakers, penguins. It was with my old inventory. It said A5, so it should be probably now in this box. Yeah, there they are. Willie and Millie, a couple of penguins. These sold for $14.99, free shipping. All right, all the orders are packed and I have a question from a viewer I wanna answer. This is from Chris Todd. Hi John, when you say you sent out an offer, what do you actually mean? To watchers of the item, thanks in advance. So he's talking about a previous video where I sold something and I said I sent an offer out and that's exactly what it is. It's sending it out to a watcher, I'll show you what I mean. So when you go in your eBay app, what I like to do is I'll go to my active listings and then I sort by number of watchers and it'll show you how many watchers on each of these items and you can send an offer by clicking that button right there so I could hit send offer and right away it's going to tell you how many people are you're sending it to um, this one is only six interested buyers because I've already sent an offer out to some of the watchers so I could send whatever amount I wanted to $25 hit review offer and send it out I have about a 10% success rate with that. Uh, I like doing it from time to time just to clear inventory, but I really love that feature because it used to be that only the uh, watchers could send you offers. You couldn't do it the other way, but it's generated a lot of sales for me. If you guys have a question for me, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it in a future video. It's Friday morning. I have six eBay orders to ship out and one is a local pickup. This one right here, actually. Went ahead and pulled it from my storage unit. This is a Titleist Voki Spin Milled gap wedge got this from kevin the tennessee picker along with a bunch of other golf clubs uh this sold for 34.99 and a viewer named forrest is going to be picking it up here in about an hour or so forrest i'll be able to thank you in person but i'll go ahead and thank you here as well i really appreciate the support next is a video game an a31 it is dragon ball fighters with a z for uh, ps4 this is one of the games i got from the pickle resellers that sold for 13.99 free shipping this is going out to viewer named devin devin thank you for the support hope you like the game okay next is on the e3 shelf right here this is a selmer clarinet something i got in that recent bulk buy that i made um i guess it was earlier this week it sold pretty quick actually it had been sitting for a while, I think, so I don't know that it was ready to play. So in the title, I put, please read in all caps. And I said, like, I can't guarantee that this is going to play well. You know, it might need um, some kind of servicing. So kind of selling it as is. If it was in, like, perfect condition, you know, service ready to go, it could bring upwards of, like, 150 bucks. But as it is, it sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Next order has two items. First is right here. Elizabeth Arden Red Door. This is a gift set. 
perfume and some lotions. Uh, that was also part of the buy that I got a clarinet. And then the other thing is on the D1 shelf. It is a Hot Wheels diecast car. Kyle Petty 124 scale should be this one right here. Both of those are going to the same buyer. They sold for $49.98 plus shipping. I will put them in the same box and refund them the difference in the shipping cost. That buyer didn't say that they're a viewer, but I have a pretty good chance that they are. So Dan, if you're watching this, thank you for the business. I really appreciate it. Sold another video game. Right over here in E31. It is Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. And I just spotted another one that I sold. Simpsons Road Rage. So I'll just go ahead and pull both of these at the same time. These were also part of that big lot of games I got from the Piqua resellers. Metroid sold for $12.99 free shipping. And Simpsons Road Rage sold for the same price. $12.99 free shipping. Next thing is a book. Should be over here on this E rack. Here it is. Let's see if I can slide this out of here without causing an avalanche. This is a Mastermind book. I think it's a it's like a hardback, like a hardcover magazine. I've had this for quite some time. I want to say I got it at a church sale. I'm not 100% where I got this, but I know I didn't spend much on it. I had it listed for like $25, $20 or best offer for the longest time. Finally, I got an offer at $15 plus shipping and I accepted. Let's go to a viewer. He says, hey, my name is Shane, but a longtime viewer of your channel. And I finally found the perfect first item to buy from you. Love the videos. Keep doing what you do. I'd also love some stickers if you have some to spare. Shane, thanks for the business. I'll be happy to throw in some stickers for you. All right. While I was packing orders, I got an offer for a baseball glove. I accepted and they went ahead and paid. So I'll go ahead and get this shipped out too. This is a Rawlings H2600 series. It is 13 inches and it can kind of double as a baseball or a softball glove. So anytime I get big gloves like that, that could go either way. I make sure that I put baseball and softball in the title because I think it helps them sell. This sold for $22 plus shipping. Before I end this video, I've got some viewer mail I want to open. First is from Dustin. Oh, wow. Oh, this is cool. All right, there's a letter. Hey John, I've been watching your videos for a little over a year now. I find them very entertaining and they are full of information. I came across this bat and thought it would be something cool to add to your collection. Just wanted to show you some appreciation. I've been a reseller on eBay for a year and a half and you have helped me a bunch. I wish your family a Merry Christmas. Also stay safe during these crazy times. Keep up the great work and respect the hustle. P.S. You and Lonnie are my favorite channels to watch. I also love the podcast. Such a fun time. I like to refer to it as the Johnny and Lonnie show. <laughs> yeah, I like that too. That's cool. Check this out, guys. It is a bat with hooks on it. I'll get some of this bubble wrap off and take a look at the whole thing. Check this thing out. It even says Cincinnati right there. Dustin, this is really cool, man. Thank you so much. Okay, next is something I opened. I thought it was from Lonnie, but it turns out it's something that somebody bought from Lonnie for me. So let's crack this open here. John, one of my viewers, Poppy, bought these from me to send to you. Enjoy, Lonnie. And these are baseball casino tokens. So one of them is a picture of Babe Ruth, and the other is Christy Matheson, both Hall of Famers. $5 uh, tokens from the Grand Casino. So thank you, Poppy. These are really cool. Okay, next is from Mike. We got a note. Dear John, I found this and thought you would like it. I watch your videos all the time. I hope this fits, but if it doesn't, please just sell it. My eBay name is NW Celebrity Hunter, and I sell all different types of things. Thank you for sharing tips, and Merry Christmas, Mike. Ooh, that is a slick Reds hat. Check that out. Thank you, Mike. I really like this. All right, next is from Jacob. Hey, John, saw this while sourcing a thought of you for Christmas. It even kind of looks like you. Hopefully you enjoy it, whether you keep it or list it. Love watching your videos, and they are really helpful as to new stuff to look for that I previously never thought to. I'm a disabled vet, and I started selling after serving my six-year enlistment to help with bills and started my channel after watching you, Lonnie, and a few others. I am struggling with subscribers on my YouTube, so if you don't mind, I would love a shout-out for my YouTube eBay store, The Grease Monkey. Keep up the great work, and I hope you and the family have a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. JP. Oh, nice. Adam Dunn bobblehead. I guess that does look like me a little bit. What do you guys think? JP, thank you for this, and thank you for your service to our country. Last but not least is from the Cap Wizard. 
Dear John, I love watching your videos. I'm sure you've seen my hats before on eBay. Anyways, just thought I'd say hello and give you some Cincinnati swag. Keep up the good work and have a happy new year. All the best, Kevin the Cap Wizard. All right, looks like there's some pins in an envelope too, so we'll pull these out. Got some old Reds pins. Those are awesome. And here are the hats he sent. Barry Lark, the one right there. Kevin, these are awesome, man. Thank you so much. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.